Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the super important questions of um, design and analysis of algorithms module 2. Okay, so a uh, few things uh, what I wanted to tell is that in module 2 you have mainly the algorithms for divide and conquer. Okay, so whatever the algorithms are there, make sure you know A to Z of that, like for example, merge sort, quick sort, and uh, binary search, finding maximum minimum element because the, the, those are only the things which are mostly asked. Okay, so make sure you are thorough with that as well as um, the detailed explanation you can find in the um videos which i have already uploaded in the you can find in the playlist for same playlist in that the videos are there okay the detailed explanation can be found there i'll be just referring to the important questions and i'll be telling you where you have to find the answer and what are the key points you have to write in exam okay so before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because your support helps me make more videos like this okay so if you want more videos make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel fine if you have any doubt ping me on instagram <coughs> So let's get started. This uh, all these things can be found in the link uh, which is given in the description box. Uh, you can uh, download this PDF. Okay. So the first question is explain divide and conquer technique. Uh, write a recursive algorithm for finding the maximum and minimum element from the list. Okay. So basically the two parts here is divided into explain the divide and conquer technique. What is divide and conquer? If I give you the basic overview, divide and conquer means uh, whatever is the uh, data here that will be divided into two halves and again it will be divided into uh, corresponding halves. Okay. That is known as divide and conquer. Means means what each will be solved independently that is known as divide and conquer technique so basically I have to write the definition uh, regarding that and explain a few words with an example so this uh, PDF I'm uh, referring daamod2.pdf so the general plan for divide and conquer a few points you can find from here and you will be writing that and you will be coming to page number 13 I guess Yeah, so if you come to this page, you will be having the code for finding the maximum and minimum using divide and conquer. Okay, so basically, this is all what you have tried and explain the algorithm as well. Okay, so that's the answer for the first question. Moving on to the second question. Apply quick sort uh, to the list. You need to know what is quick sort and you need to write the algorithm. You need to explain how it works. After that, you have to uh, sort this uh, given thing here. Yeah. Example in the alphabetical order. How to solve alphabetical orders and how to solve the numbers. Both I've explained in my video. You can go through it. Just alphabetical orders, you can consider these as separate numbers. For example, E is, you can consider as 5, X you can consider as 25, A you can consider as 1. Like A, if A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, like that, uh, you can consider and uh, sort it. Fine. So, um, yeah you can do like that and draw the tree of recursive calls can also be done you have to watch my video for uh, more information i cannot uh, discuss the things now it's a very long one so um, and the answer is present quick sort this these all things i think you can find out right but still i will tell you where all these things are present See the quick sort is presented page number eighteen, uh, page number eight, and uh, the theory part is given here, followed by an example with the explanation what is pivot point and how the iterations happen. All you need to know is the algorithm, and you need to explain in your own words. And finally, write the algorithm. There are two things: quick sort and a partition algorithm. Both you have to write. Okay, and analysis also there. Analysis is um, not important, but you can uh, write uh, to increase your chances for more marks. The next one is the uh, discuss Streisand's matrix multiplication. Very very important question. Streisand multiplication very a uh, very short topic yet very important one and derive its time complexity so Streisand's matrix multiplication can be found in ah uh, yeah page number 15 fine uh, so there is a theory part regarding it and uh, how it for uh, how the formula works and everything already I have discussed in depth you can watch uh, that video you will get to know the um, basic concepts make your basic concepts strong it will be easy for you to attempt in the exam okay so basically these are the things you need to write you need to reach this conclusion that 2 n power 2.807 is less than n cube right in time complexity if uh, it is o of n raised to 2.807 it is slightly less than this one for smaller input it doesn't make any uh, difference but if it n is very very large it will make a huge difference fine so that is Tyson's matrix multiplication coming to merge sort algorithm you need to like they can give you a, a list also like this to merge so what you need to know is the first is the definition part then you need to know the theory regarding it how it works and you need to analyze its time complexity and write its algorithm explain the algorithm using an example like take any sample list and explain or else if they have given the list you have to explain that and write the um, advantage disadvantage so what all are the points I mentioned you must write those things okay so uh, you can rewind the video and um, 
again here whatever the points I told if you did not pay attention okay so that was about the merge sort and coming to the topological sorting this uh, this is not there in the notes you have to watch the uh, video which I have uploaded for the module 2 18 CS 42 in the last part okay in the last part last two topics is this one only in, in that I have explained how to solve these type of questions so you can go through that and watch that because this is also repeated one okay and along with that you can also learn what is decrease and conquer approach what are the advantage and disadvantage of divide and conquer approach okay so the, both are explained there so make sure you go through that as well it's a repeated one but not a super repeated one okay once you have completed the super repeated questions go through that and learn that as well write a recursive algorithm for binary search and calculate its time complexity okay so binary search can be found here only binary search is a super important question you need to know what is binary search and how does divide and conquer work in that like basically if i tell you what is binary search you have an element to be found here k okay and the list is given to you it is in an increasing order so we first you will search if k is the middle element or not if it is not is k greater than middle element or lesser than middle element in case k is less than middle element means the key will be found here itself right i need not search this part i can discard this part so and the next i'll be searching is this middle part again i'll divide and again search middle part until i get the k value fine if i don't get k value till the last point it means the k value is not present here that's all the binary search is you have to explain your own words and this algorithm also can be explained see the uh, thing what is there what is the input what is the output that you have to write first what's happening here then you will be writing that uh, line by line and what is getting returned if it is not found if it is found what will be written that all things you will be uh, explaining here after writing the algorithm okay explain your own words it's not an issue and uh, coming to time complexity these things it's optional for you if you write it will increase your chances for marks that's all what i can say so this is all for this video and uh, hit the like button subscribe to my channel support me for making more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one